you on your Monday morning. We are following a developing story. I've already been in touch with Buffalo Police this morning, trying to get some more information about this scene here on the 33. This car came crashing through the guide rail and actually crashed onto the 33. This morning, we've now learned it's connected to a shooting. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Matt Bovey is standing by live for us at the scene. He's at the 33 for more information, Matt. To figure out a lot of those unanswered questions from Buffalo Police, but we do know that it happened right here behind me at Humboldt, right by Utica. You can take a look. You can see a temporary guardrail that's right on the Humboldt on the other side of that rail, the 33. That's where that accident took place. Now, take a look at this video. Seven Eyewitness News was on the scene just minutes after this all happened. Now, Buffalo Police say at around 8:30 there was a shooting on Purdy Street. That's only about a mile from where we're standing right now. They say a man went through the doors of that. Home and then shot another man who was pronounced dead at the scene and a woman who was transported to ECMC. And then just minutes later, this car accident happened. Now, Buffalo police have yet to confirm with 7 Eyewitness News if the shooter was, in fact, the driver. We still don't know the condition of that man, but on the scene, a weapon was recovered. So still, a lot of unanswered questions this morning, but we're continuing to ask Buffalo police to answer these questions and see what more we can learn. But once again, this morning, you'll see a temporary guardrail right here on the Humboldt Expressway. Stick with us for any updates. We'll be live out here all morning, Ed. All right, Matt, we'll be live for us along the 33 in Buffalo this morning. Obviously, we know that one person is also in custody this morning. We're working to get more information about who that person actually is and what their connection is to that crash and the shooting.